Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video, 2E0IQJ. Last week we looked at this radio, the KYT 8900D. On eBay they're going anywhere from £59 upwards, and this is a 2 and 70 radio. It says it's doing 25 watts and 10 watts on low power. So I tested it last week and I was getting under 20 watts across both bands. And they said in the comments, use a dummy load and not plug it into an aerial. So I bought myself a new dummy load. Now this was about 30 quid off eBay. And it's a DC, there we go, it's right around now. DC to 3 gigahertz, 50 watts dummy load. And when I put this in my feature tech AW07A, the SWR across the bands was 1.0 and on 70 sems it was about 1.1. Now on the end here is an N-type connection. And it's an N-type male but that's got a PLT59 connection, so I'm going to have to use an adapter there. So let me plug this dummy load into the, into the SWR meter and power meter, and we'll see what power the radio is kicking. Will we get more than last week's video? Let's find out. Okay, so I've gone handheld with the camera. We've got the radio connected to the nice L on this L RS40 SWR and power meter sitting on the 15 watt scale, the power setting, and it's connected to the dummy load. So let's see if this radio is keeping the same power as last week, more power or less power. So we're sitting there at the moment on 145 dead. So I'll press the menu button. And we've got TX power, it's on high. We see what power it's kicking. So on a 15 watt scale, there you go, it's 15 watts just over. So let's stick it to the 260 watt. There we go, about 19 watts. Then when I come to edit the video, I see if I remember I can put last week's values in. So around about 19 watts on high power on two meters. Let's put it into low power. So it's now into low power. Put it onto the 15 watt scale. Okay, about 14 or so watts. Let's take it onto the 60 watt scale. I'd say it's about 14 watts on low power on 2 meters, about 19 watts on high power. Let's try it on 70 cents, so 4, 3, 3, 4, 50. Stick the radio back into high power. Let's see what we're going to get with the power. Will we get the same as last week? Or will we get higher or lower? So we can stick it to the 15 watt scale. Okay, there you go. So let's just say about seven and a half, eight watts. So let's try it 60 watt scale. Okay, now let's put the radio into low power. Switch it back to the 15 watt scale. It's about the same. Low power and high power on 70 cents is about the same. And about 7 or 8 watts. So not the 25 and the 10 watts as advertised. It seems to be putting a more power out on 2 meters than it does on 70 cents. Anyway, for the price of the radio, 69 quid for a little mobile for the car. This is perfect. I've been using it for a while now. And at the back of the radio, it does get warm across the top. At the back of the radio, there is a little, little fan there that helps keep it cold, but it still gets very warm across the top, which it says there. Caution, this surface may be hot, so it does get warm. But yeah, it's a working radio, 270 for the car. Nice little, tiny, compact rig. Anyhow, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ73.